Hello everyone, we will continue the topic web time pro app app and in the previous videos we started with the concept of inbound and outbound plugs. Firstly, we understood the purpose of inbound and outbound plugs. Then we started with the practical part. As a part of that, we created the web then pro component. We have two views into the web then pro component. In the first view, that is our main view, we simply simply designed the layout which is used to display the data from Mara table. On the second view, that is our main one, we designed the layout which is used to display the data from MAKT table and we designed the table because you all know whenever we are going for MAKT table for one material, we have multiple records. Now we will proceed further. Now, as of now, firstly, I will activate this web then pro component up to this level. And you all know what is the best way to activate the whole web then pro component. Just go to display mode, right click and activate because rather than going to individual parts and activating the best way is to activate each and everything together. In the module pool also, you are doing the same to same thing. You are activating each and everything together. So now you can see as of now component controller, it is in blue color. Our views are in blue color. Our window is in blue color. It means those all are inactive parts. So how we will activate each and everything together? I will simply go to the display mode. I will right click on to web 10 pro component and I will activate each and everything together. Now I will go for activate. And you can see it is activating component controller, both the views and the window. I will go for OK. Now after this, each and everything will appear in the black color. It means everything is activated now. Now we will create a web then pro application for this web then pro component so that we can check the output up to this level. And in the previous videos also, I put so much stress to simply compare your web then pro component. It is equal to module pool program. The transaction code is equal to web then pro application. Whenever you want to run a module pool program, you require a transaction code. Same cases here. Whenever you want to run a web then pro component, you require a web then pro application. It means web then pro application is just like a transaction code. So I will go to change mode. And now I will right click on to web then pro component. And I will go for create web then pro application and by default whatever the name of the component is there it will appear in the application i will write the description to display the material details now i will go for save you can simply ignore this pop-up because we are not going for any administrative service. I will go for local object. And you can see previously we have only four parts. Now we have another part also web then pro application. And you can see every web then pro application has a URL URL. Because anyways, we are running the application on the web browser. It, it means it must have a URL. Now I will run up to this level. And after that, one of the most important question will come from the interview perspective. I will run this web then pro application. I will go for test. Now you will be able to see, yes, we have label, input field, submit button, these three label, text view, yes, because anyways, whenever data will display, output will display there, and the button for material description. Now, many people will think, yes, we have two views, 
main and main one. We have two views, main and main one. But how system is displaying the main view, main view. Why system is not displaying first time the main one view. This is extremely important concept from the interview perspective. And firstly, we will take the example of module pool because it is just like module pool programming only. Suppose you have a module pool program and you have three screens into that. Whenever you will create a transaction code, whenever you will run the module pool program with the help of transaction code, which screen is appearing first? Whenever you are creating transaction code, you are passing the screen number. And whenever whatever the screen number you are giving, that is appearing first. Same thing is here. We might have 10 views, 20 views, 50 views. But whenever we will run our application, one view will appear for the first time. After that, yes, depends upon the action. We will go for different, different views because it is just like a module pool. In the module pool, we have screens. In here, web then pro a app, we call it as views because we are designing the layout. Now, people will think, yes, why this view is appearing because it is acting as default. Just go for the windows and you will be able to see. You can see in the window, by default, we have one view present. That is your main view. Whenever you are creating a Web10 Pro component, what is the view which is by default there? Main. And it is in the window. It is in the window. And you can see the default is ticked. That's why whenever you are running the Web10 Pro application, this view is appearing first. Now people will ask, can I set other view as default? Yes, I can set other view as also default. Suppose if I will go to change mode. Anyways, we have to do that part. I'm going to change mode. Now, I'm simply right clicking onto the window. And I put so much stress from the starting itself. If you are not embedding the views into the window, they will never, never appear. The view must be embedded in the window if we want to see that view. It is in display mode. I will go to change mode. By mistake, it was in change mode itself. I will right click on to the window. Now I will go for embed view. I will embed the second view also in the window. I will go for F for help. View to be embedded. Extremely important thing and we want to go for which view? Main one. I will go for OK. Now you can see in this window, now we have two views, main and main one. As of now, main is your default. Now I will go to main one. Suppose if I want to make this as default, right click and simply go for set as default. Now you can see this checkbox is ticked. And now if I will go for main, that checkbox is removed. Which means at a time we are setting one view as a default in the module pool while creating that transaction code, you are passing only one screen. Here also we are setting one view as a default. Now whenever, now firstly I will activate this. I am activating the window, right clicking onto the window and I am activating. Now, whenever I will run the Web10 Pro application, the second view will appear now. I will go for right click, test. Now you will be able to see by default second view is appearing first. So this is the way how we will decide an extremely important question from the interview perspective. And generally in every interview, we ask this question. Suppose we have Web10 Pro component. There we have 10 views. By default, main is appearing for the first time. How I can set other view to appear first? The simple answer is you have to tell that you can embed the other view into the window. You can simply right click onto the view and just, you just go for set as default. Whenever you will set as default, 
that you will appear for the first time. And many times people ask how I can check for how one view is default or not. So double click on to the view and you will be able to see the checkbox. If checkbox is ticked, it means that view is acting as a default view. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, firstly, I activated the WebDen Pro component. Then I created the WebDen Pro application for that. When I run that WebDen Pro application, the system is displaying the main view because that is by default view. Whenever you are creating the WebDen Pro component in the window, we have the by default main view is there and it is appearing. But so many people will think you have multiple views, then how you can go for other view, how you can set other view as default. Simple answer, just go for the window, embed that view and just right click onto the view and set as default. Then that view will appear first. Now, as of now, I will simply, simply set first as our default view only because anyways, on the action, we need to go for second view. Now, whenever I will run this, if I will run this WebDen Pro application, now you can see we have this particular main view. Now, in the next video, we will simply write the logic onto the submit button and then we will go for inbound and outbound plugs. So, in this video, we cover the most important part how to set a review as default. So that's it in this video. Thank you.